Welcome to Click with JFCS. My name is Michael Byrne. I am a mobile therapist for older adults. Today, I'm here to share with you about some DBT skills that can lend a hand when we are feeling a little bit extra anxious, when we're feeling like we're going to have a panic attack, or we're actually having a panic attack. What can we do to get ourselves back inside our bodies and feel like ourselves again? couple really easy tips. DBT, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy, has a skill called the TIP skill. They love acronyms. So TIP, T-I-P-P. -P -P. T stands for temperature. So get into the freezer, grab a bag of frozen peas, or even better, an ice pack, and put it on the back of your neck. This will send a message to your brain, and your brain then sends a message to the rest of your body to release endorphins, and it just automatically makes you feel better. So it's a way of doing something physical that changes your mental well-being. I stands for intense exercise. So same kind of endorphin release. Do a lot of intense exercise. Get up, do 100 jumping jacks. Go for a run. Your brain will send endorphins to your body and you will actually be able to regulate your emotions and feel a lot better. P is paced breathing. What I like to do is just start, get yourself sitting down, get your feet on the ground, center yourself in your chair, make yourself comfortable. Relax your neck, relax your jaw, and then just breathe normally. After breathing normally for a couple of seconds, breathe in with a count of 10, breathe out with a count of 10. Do that for a couple of minutes. And then breathe in for a count of 10, breathe out for a count of five. So the actual act of getting your getting your mind focused on counting your breaths and then changing the count of those breaths brings you into the present, brings you into this moment, gets you out of that your brain thinking of the woulda, shoulda, couldas or what ifs and gets you back into your body and gets you back into this moment, relaxing you. The second P is paired muscle relaxation. Start from the tip of your toes, tensing up your toes, and then relaxing. Then your feet, then your ankles, then your calves, then your knees, working all the way up to the top of your head. By the time you get to the top of your head, you have once again focused yourself on the present focused yourself on the here and now, gotten yourself back inside of your body, and, your, and the anxiety level has dropped. One more way to fool your brain if you're, having, if you're having a panic attack is the dive response. Now, this is also something, a way to fool your brain, whether it's a sink, or a big uh, bowl of cold water. You need the water to be cold and you need it to be deep enough that you can put your face in it, okay? Now I know this sounds a little crazy, but by actually putting your face in cold, holding your, taking a deep breath, holding it and sticking your face in water, you are fooling your brain into thinking that you have dove into cold water. That sends a message to your brain that then causes your brain to protect your vital organs and to rush blood to your heart and to your lungs. This causes you to change the way you emotionally feel by changing the way you physically feel. It's kind of amazing, but the water needs to be cold. You need to actually hold your breath and stick your face in the water 
because your brain is getting the messages from your lungs and from your, the, your nostrils, feeling the cold and feeling the wet sends those messages to your brain and your brain responds. But great ways to change the way you feel by changing your physical self. It's easy and even better, it works. I'm Michael Byrne. Thanks for checking in with Click at JFCS.